Ross Leopold. I'm a root crop trials technician for KWS UK. Uh, I studied chemistry at University of Nottingham. Uh, I graduated five years ago. Uh, and my job here at KWS UK is uh, to carry out the sugar beet trials. Uh, that involves planning the trials, uh, drilling the trials, uh, monitoring them and seeing them through to harvest as well and analysing the sugar beet plots afterwards. So conducting field trials is incredibly similar to conducting a lab experiment. It's all about picking your variables, uh, seeing what you can control, seeing what you can measure, and seeing what it is that you change. And that's essentially what we're doing here in the fields uh, with different uh, genetics of sugar beet and different genotypes. We observe how they perform under different conditions, whether it's disease or drought or different uh, weather conditions. Then we communicate that information back to the breeders based in Germany and, uh, and, and, and they give us feedback based on that. The real challenge here and something that I find really compelling is trying to control variables in the field when we have volatile weather conditions, ever-changing soil conditions, all sorts of variables that can't possibly be changed. There's a real challenge in that aspect of, of, of trying to control things that inherently can't be controlled. Uh, I find trying to find different ways of controlling those variables uh, to be really cool, like new and innovative ways, and sort of seeing them come to fruition in the field is always really satisfying too. I wasn't particularly attracted by any sort of STEM as aspect of this job. However, uh, what I found really rewarding is that I've been able to find the, uh, find the science in it um, and use my background as a science graduate within the context of this job and employ the science, the scientific method that I learned as part of my degree and project it onto the job that I'm doing. Uh, yeah, so science always interested me from a, from a young age and after I completed my chemistry degree, I realized that my real passion was for learning, understanding more about the world around me. To that end, joining the agricultural sector, it opened up a whole new world of stuff that I knew nothing about. And since being in that, I've had a whole, yeah, a whole new world of, uh, of information that I can learn, whether it's agronomy, you know, how, uh, how to effectively grow plants and maximize their, their potential, to plant biology and plant breeding, uh, and even to uh, plant pathology as well. There's, there's huge amounts to, uh, to learn about absolutely everything. And what's really interesting is that there's a, there's a huge amount of cutting edge research that KWS does that feeds in to traditional methods of farming to allow us to advance best practice in agriculture. I do feel like people have a lot of misconceptions about agriculture and um, as with many things it turns out that the reality is a lot more nuanced than, than the simplicity that people make it out to be. Um, and yeah, and understanding that nuance and, uh, and then communicating it to people that might not, that might not know about the industry uh, is really, really rewarding. I never pictured myself moving into agriculture uh, when I was younger. Uh, however, it, it turns out that working in a job like this uh, provides a perfect blend of uh, practicality, uh, science, and also uh, technical expertise too. So one particularly exciting thing that uh, I've done here is using a, uh, a bit of machinery called the Ruler 3. Um, it's a mobile sugar beet analysis laboratory that uses near-infrared spectroscopy to analyse sugar beet plots. Using this machinery perfectly combines those uh, technical aspects, the scientific aspects and the practical aspects of this job. So we really had to uh, understand the science behind the near-infrared spectroscopy in order to obtain quality data. We had to understand the, the technical details of the, of, of the machine so that we could use it day-to-day -day effectively and you know, repair it if we needed to as well. And then all of that combined to using it practically in the field, which uh, uh, although it was a bit wet and windy sometimes, it was uh, very satisfying as well. Yeah, so I think the most unexpected thing was the fact that really I hated biology at school. And uh, now that I've come here, I've, 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 I feel I've really taken to it. That was, a, that was quite a surprise for me. Yeah, so I'd have to say the most useful thing would be uh, the forklift license. 
Uh, really transferable skill, looks good on the CV, and uh, yeah, a little bit of fun as well. And uh, yeah, learn something new. I would say the most exciting thing was probably uh, the fact that, you know, I'm jumping into a totally new sector that I know nothing about, and there's seemingly endless things to learn about here.